one of the best, the lively and colorful Riverwalk. Just part of what makes San Antonio such a great town. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. And a look now at San Antonio's upcoming schedule. On Saturday, the Los Angeles Lakers will come into town. And then on Monday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming into town. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Good evening, Kevin. Well, the Spurs are always competitive. So what kind of people fit their culture? Greg Popovich says we're looking for character, people that have gotten over themselves. A sense of humor is huge. You've got to be able to take a dig and feel comfortable that you don't have all the answers. Kevin, it all starts with Pop. Yeah, it always has. You and I know that personally. Thank you very much. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their games. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, that kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Garnett out there with Lucas. Then it's Cassell. Then it's the natural. And it's Serbiak in at the three spot. And for the Spurs, Parker out there with Johnson. Then it's Robinson, then it's Elliott, and it's Duncan in at the power forward position. Tip-off goes to Minnesota. Here's Cassell, the pass to Stewart. With the putback. It's good on the putback. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Elliott. Trying to get open is Johnson. Elliott the bucket. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have a reverse in their arsenal. Here's Cassell. Pass to Stewart. Robinson with the block. And there you see why Robinson is, is the anchor of this defense. Massive wingspan easily allowing him to turn away shots. Now here's Johnson. Back to Robinson. Over Cassell. Robinson misses. For Minnesota. They've gone just one of four to get this game started. Shoots it up. Cassell no good. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. Johnson inside. Defended by Lucas. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. And that sixth sense, guys, might be better than just about anybody else's. Here's Cassell. Offensive rebound. Here's Garnett. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Hey, Garnett, a That's vocal leader, always trying to psych first his guys team. up and get into the head of the opponent. Minnesota shooting their first free throws Kevin of the night Garnett. right here. And Two going shots. back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. And those aren't the kind of numbers they can afford to repeat throughout this season. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Kevin Garnett. 
for San Antonio. They've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Here's Elliott. It's deflected. Here's Serbiak, covered by Elliott. Floats one up. Duncan with the block. And that's part of his game. Love seeing Duncan just sky up there to reject shots. Does a great job of utilizing that wingspan along with his timing. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Timeout called first of the game for Minnesota. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Well, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. And, you know, that's all about effort, and I'm sure their coach let them have it for the lack thereof. in terms of free throw percentage very consistent from the strike an asset and Greg what stands out to me the most is their turnover ranking they were never careless with the ball never played out of control now here's Stewart Gazelle the pass to Garnett stolen by Robinson here's Johnson that drops and it comes off an assist from Parker. Yeah, and that's what you want from your point guard. Parker distributing the ball wonderfully on that possession. Passes it to Cassell. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Shot from 16. David Robinson with the rebound. Here's San Antonio now. They're on a 10-2 run here. Here's Johnson. Can't get it to fall. Man, I can't believe... He blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Garnett against Johnson. KG, that's good. good Garnett. Garnett, very comfortable close to the basket now. He's efficient as a low block score. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. They get it again. Here's Robinson. Garnett with the block. And here is Serbia. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Cassell, the pass to Garnett. Here's Cassell, covered by Parker. Six to shoot. Here's Stewart. It's hauled in by Duncan. Spurs leading by four. Johnson surveying the floor. Parker outside. Good on the triple. Oh, great ball move. Here's Cassell. He's coming off a 10-point game against New Orleans. Garnett left side. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Duncan. Minnesota the ball. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Here's Cassell. San Antonio foul. David Robinson. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Spurs on defense. And here is Serbia. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Shot clock at five. 
Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. That falls. Great assist by Sam Cassell. I love how quick Zerbiak is. I mean, doesn't waste any time getting his shot off. That quick release I'm talking about. Catch and shoot is right in his wheelhouse. Now, here is Robinson. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. Second chance shot. He takes it up and lays it in. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. They're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. And the Timberwolves call time. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. in the tray. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Parker. Again, the Spurs good for two. Parker. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. Cassell, no good. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. A steal. Here's Serbiak, covered by Elliott. Serbiak, no luck. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. It's a five-point game. Yeah, and in that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. And the hustle they showed on that end was, was infectious, <laughs> contagious. I mean, their squad really got after it. Got himself into really good position there. Can't pass that shot up, guys. Parker against Cassell. From past the arc, drains it from beyond the arc. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Johnson outside. Parker against Cassell. Parker right side. Five to shoot. Lucas against Elliott. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. Cassell against Parker. Here's Cassell, and that one is good. Cassell's got five now. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Parker with no one around. Drills it from outside. Parker's got a couple of threes now in the first with the Spurs. And here is Serbia. Here he goes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Serbiak loves shooting the ball. Third, All he needs is a little daylight, and he is ready to fire. Shooting from Minnesota. And a breakdown here, guys. Here's the hustle stats for the Spurs. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunities. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. 
Yep, the first one falls. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Knights checked in for Robinson. The Magician comes in for Tim Duncan. Ano Ginobili's checked in for Johnson. And Allen subbed in for Parker. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Minnesota with the ball. Mano Ginobili able to get his shot to go. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Spurs leading by four. Ginobili outside. Here's Moreland. to Ginobili Chris, Chris. over Hoiberg no good on the shot a bit long that time to the inside Fleming and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run and, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him now the pass to Moreland second shot opportunity and it's good on the layup and the Spurs lead by four Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Here's Hoiberg. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Moncrief, El Sid with it. Down low. Here's Madsen. It's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Del Negro, he's checked in for Elliott. Spurs leading by four. Pass to Moreland. Here's Del Negro. Kicks it to Genova. They get it back. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. San Antonio shooting their first free throw of the year. for San Antonio. One shot. One shot. Trail by seven. Now here is Von Grief. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's Springwell. Back to Von Grief. Just five to shoot. Fires the three. Timberwolves keep it alive. Another shot picked away. Here's Ginobili. Banked in off the glass. And it's a nine-point Spurs lead. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second-chance points. Ultra impressive, guys. Caught them off guard, and they've taken the momentum in this game now. Here's Money. Pass to Monk. Here's Money. Del Negro defending. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Boom! He jams it straight down. Now that's some hang time. What a pretty double clutch move. Agree, Greg. You can afford to get fancy on your way up when you've got that kind of space. And space is what he had, fellas. Soft him. defense there. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. Here's money. Shoots from 12. Rebounded by the Spurs. Moreland's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Del Negro against Moncrief. Del Negro the pass to Ginobili. Here's Del Negro. No points in the game yet for him. Offensive rebound. Moreland. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. 
Here's Freewell. And it's off the back rim. No good. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We've got more in store for you right after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And, you know, the Spurs have been rolling right along, haven't they? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots. In there. And you look at the 2021 draft class. Just some unbelievable talent at the top. I mean, Kay Cunningham, for me, probably is the consensus best player. But, man, you got guys like Suggs and Green and Kaminga with that rare athleticism. And then how about Mobley? He really defines what a modern-day big is supposed to be. I mean, what more could you want? So with Parker on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. They've got Ginobili, the magician out there at person. Then there's Allen. And it's Hickson in at the center position. Now here's Ginobili. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Hickson with the bucket. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And it's blocked. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Pass to Moreland. Ginobili outside over Hoiberg. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Timberwolves trail by 13 inside. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. The pass to Hickson. Kicks it out to Ginobili. A three ball. That's good. A tough shooting night. He's two for eight and looking for more. And how about that lefty stroke there from Ginobili? It is a thing of beauty. He is dialed in from deep. Here's Freewell. Hickson grabs the board. Hickson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Ginobili. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his first, Boy, the energy Ginobili plays with first is actually foul. unbelievable. He's a whirling dervish out there. He's always doing something borderline spectacular. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. That is good from Ginobili. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Webb comes in for money. And it's Vaughn in for Moncrief. Both free throws good from Ginobili. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Riley. Passes it to Sprewell. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Ginobili attacking. Struggling getting it in. That's his seventh miss and nine shots. 
Got a piece of it. And he recovers it. Vaughn, the pass to Riley. And there's the feed to DJ. Rebound, San Antonio. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and, and you can see why. Pass to Person. The pass to Moreland. Ginobili looking around. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Person no good. Timberwolves trail by 14. Now, DJ. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Sprewell to the middle. Riley can't hit. Here's Person. He kicks to Hickson. Ginobili outside. Offensive rebound, and Hickson throws it down. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and doesn't take any chances there with the put. The GA strong work all around, and the rebound and the stuff both. Wow. Yep, he stayed with it all the way and got his reward at the end. And it's three well missing. Spurs leading by 16 to the paint. A shot by Hickson, no good. Minnesota's gone three or four from long range in the game. Pass to Riley. Now here's DJ. Here's Sprewell. Passes it to Riley. Another miss by Minnesota. San Antonio's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Ginobili outside. Here's Hickson. The second chance effort. It's blocked. Here's Hoiberg. He's covered by Ginobili. Hoiberg passes to Vaughn. Kicks to Webb. Pass to Hoiberg. Here's Sprewell. Fires from the line. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Ginova. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws Dan here. Hoiberg. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. He'll take his at third and fourth free throw Spurs, shots of the game right here. Manu Ginobili at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Robinson's checked in for the dude. Duncan comes in for the magician. Johnson, he's checked in for person. And Tony Parker is subbed in for Allen. And so Ginobili nails both of them. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Gazelle against Parker. Teardrop shot. Robinson with the block. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Timberwolves ball. Elliott's checked in for the Spurs. Your Spurs, Sean Elliott. Timberwolves trail by 18. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Minnesota calls timeout. Well, Clark, with the success of the play-in tournament, Commissioner Silver pushing for a mid-season tournament with the winning team earning $1 million per play. You know, Kevin, adding additional games I think would be a challenge. I'm not quite sold on that, but I do know that $1 million would incentivize role players. The question is whether or not star players would be as motivated to add more games in the middle of the season. All right, look who's coming on to the court.
Stewart kicks to Lucas. Down to five on the shot clock. Garnett the pass to Zerbiak. Here's Stewart. Another miss by Minnesota. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And the pass to Elliott. Dishes it to Duncan. And he can't bank that one in. Garnett outside. Johnson against Stewart to the wing on the left. Cassell kicks to Stewart. Over Robinson. Robinson with the block. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Johnson can't hit. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's Stewart. Back to Garnett. Over Johnson. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. And I like the decision making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. You know, more and more big guys in the league have that mid-range shot in their bag now, and they need it. That one goes in. David! Robinson's got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, I like the interior game of Robinson. He really does a nice job of getting deep position and then going to work. Cassell against Parker. And here's Stewart. 13 feet away. Duncan with the clock. Parker outside. Driving the lane. And he uses the glass on the lane. And that's 10 points for Parker. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you. And I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. And the Spurs making a change here. Del Negro's checked in. Personal foul. First team foul. Now into the lineup for your Spurs, Vinny Del Negro. Pass to Stewart. And the call on the foul. shot that sends him to the line. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan That's picks one up. Personal foul. The Timberwolves shooting their Second fifth and sixth free throws foul. of the game. At the line for the Timberwolves. At the line for two. Free throw good, Stewart. And he can't hit the second. Spurs leading by 19 points. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Inside. Here's Robinson. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Robinson's got four this quarter. You know, Tim Duncan does a nice job, especially when one of his guys is open. That floor awareness of his, dime drop. Here's Johnson. Takes it inside. And he banks in the layup. And it's six points for Johnson. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Here's Cassell. He has five. Johnson. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Stewart passes to Cassell. Here's Garnett. 
He can't hit that time. Nice D from Duncan. There are the Spurs with the ball. They're on a 19-7 run. And Del Negro gets it to go. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. Here's Cassell. Down low. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Del Negro. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. For Minnesota, Team they have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. Shots. We throw good, Stewart. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Knights checked in for Robinson. Valentine comes in for Tim Duncan. Persons checked in for Elliott. And Allen subbed in for Johnson. Money's checked in for Minnesota. And so Stewart nails both of them. So Allen will bring it up for San Antonio. Passes to Del Negro. From downtown. Kept alive. Garnett with the block. Cannot forget about the defensive Garnett. Now outstanding at knowing when to time his leap to block the shot. And the basket is good. And it's eight points for money. So it's the Spurs now. Here's Del Negro. Pass to Allen. Outside Knight. Five on the clock. Rebound, Minnesota. Garnett's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Stewart. It drops for his second main shot of this game. An unimpressive two of seven, though. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Timberwolves trail by 19. Here's Cassell. Garnett trying to break loose. Cassell, no good. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Allen outside. And there's the pass to Del Negro. And that'll be Timber two free throws coming foul. up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal Boy, foul. Boy, El Negro plays Four, with a lot of confidence foul. and good at spacing the floor, and he's a reliable scorer. The Spurs have been on target from the free throw line. They're five of five in that department. Two shots. First free throw is good. Some changes for Minnesota. Madsen, he's checked in for Lucas. And it's Moncrief in for Cazell. And so he's able to get one of two. Timberwolves trail by 20. 105 left in the first half of basketball. Stewart passes to Manson. Here's Money. Del Negro defending. They grab their own miss. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal. Hey, really, I'd like to see them get after it on the offensive boards a little bit more here. They, they did a good job of that Kevin in the first. And this two is his shots. second trip to the line tonight. Two. 
No good on that one. And the Spurs with some changes. The dude, he's checked in for Knight. The magician comes in for Valentine. And it's Ginobili in for Del Negro. And he sinks the second. San Antonio leading by 19. Ginobili outside. Pass to Person. Allen outside. Shot clock at six. Garnett with the block. Moncrief, El Sid with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. And Garnett misses. San Antonio's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Antonio ball. Timberwolves Timber 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 can change here. Latrell Sprewell. Eleven seconds left here in the second. A shot by Hickson, no good. Passes it to Fleming. Two on the clock, and good that time. Assisted. Money's got ten points in the game. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. And so it's San Antonio feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we had ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. A fantastic first quarter from Tony Parker. He had 10 points, 3 assists, and 1 rebound. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? The main story here, their offensive rebound. They've worked so hard for extra possessions, superior effort, and that's given them the upper hand paid off on the scoreboard. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? They're not shooting you well so far. Actually, they've been terrible. Fellas, I got an idea for them. Feed the post. Let the big man eat. Jeez. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother... Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been a clinic from Tony Parker. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. Here's Parker. So on the floor for Minnesota. We've got Cassell. Money out there with Lucas. And it's the natural. And it's Serbiak in at the small forward position. And you know, Duncan is an incredible talent. He's a menace on the block. Exceptional at scoring deep inside. Pass to Serbiak. No good on the shot. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Here is Elliott 
Guarded by Serbiak. Robinson. A shot off that time. Duncan tried to break loose. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got 10 points in the game. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. Here's Serbiak. There's the pass to Cassell. Trying to break that ice cold streak, and it goes out of bounds. That one off Robinson. Minnesota. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Kevin Garnett has checked in for Minnesota. Kevin Garnett. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Rebound San Antonio. Duncan's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Starting slow in this half. 0 for 3 so far. Timberwolves trail by 21. And here is Serbia. Parker with the steal. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Knocks down the step back, Jay. He's got 12. Yeah, the mid-range jump shot is just automatic from Parker, especially when he gets the room to fire. Stewart passes to Zerbiak. Feeds it to Garnett. And it's in there. Yeah, Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Parker looking around to the inside Robinson it's good Robinson's got four points this quarter boy that was a thing of beauty by Parker for Minnesota they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room with the break pass to Cassell and here's Stewart pass to Zerbiak fires for three and he's good on the Robin three ball. Zerbiak. has got seven points. Yeah, how about the range there from Zerbiak? Uh, he doesn't hesitate when pulling from outside. Here's Parker. And the Spurs scoring again. Nothing better than a hustle play right like there. It gets the whole team amped up. Sets the example for everyone. And the Timberwolves call timing. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. The Timberwolves have gone 2 of 5, shooting here in the third quarter. Pass to Garnett. Over Duncan. And again, it's Minnesota. You know, the mid-range day of Garnett is a thing of beauty. Textbook release from the big man. Johnson outside. Back to Parker. to the hoop. Yep, it counts. Parker's got six in the quarter. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Duncan against Cassell. Over Duncan. And he stays with it. Goes back up. And the rebound goes to Duncan. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. 
Johnson can't get it to go. Minnesota's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Serbiak, guarded by Robinson. Lucas inside. Johnson on him. Yep, that one goes in there. Lucas has got his second bucket tonight. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. Parker against Cassell. Parker kicks to Johnson. And there's the pass to Robinson. Four on the clock. Back to Johnson. From beyond the arc. Hands it from downtown. Johnson's got nine. You know, that's how you do it, guys. I mean, he passed his way out of the double team and into an easy basket. Fades away. Looking to get back on track here. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Now here's Johnson. Nine points in the game so far. It's rebounded by Kevin Garnett. Garnett's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Serbiak passes to Vaughn. Free throw line jump shot. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Obviously a mix-up defensively on that possession. Spurs leading by 19 points. Time out, time out. And San Antonio Spurs. calls the first timeout of the game. Start. Checked in for Johnson. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Webb's checked in for Kevin Garnett. Robinson dishes to Parker. Back to Robinson. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Parker's got his fifth assist in this one. Timberwolves trail by 21. Vaughn, the pass to Serbiak. He's off on that one. San Antonio's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And Parker, here we go. That's tipped. Here's Hoiberg, covered by Parker. And here's the fast break. Del Negro kicks to Parker. And the layup's good off the glass. Parker's got 18 points in the game. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for San Antonio. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort to the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they defended the rim as they challenged every shot and also gotten quite a few blocks as well. Now here's Parker. He's got 18. to Elliott. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And this is why Elliott is a valuable player for them. A lengthy small forward with a lethal perimeter shot. Here's Serbiak, covered by Elliott. Passes it to Riley. Over to the wing. 
Will it go? Robinson with the block. Here's Del Negro. And contact Del on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Serbia. They get That's Wally Serbia. Second personal he shot two free throws in the game, First made one and missed one. At the line for San Antonio, Vinny Del Negro taking two shots. And the first one drops. And the Spurs with some changes. Knights checked in for Robinson. The dude comes in for Tim Duncan. And it's Ginobili in for Tony Parker. That one misses. Minnesota's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Hoiberg, covered by Elliott. Webb controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Ginobili the pass to Hickson. Pass to Del Negro. Two free throws yeah, coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Wow, wow, he got whacked Second on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. So far in the game, he's gone two for four from the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. Money's checked in for Minnesota. Moncrief comes in for DJ. And so Del Negro nails both of them. Minnesota's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Timberwolves keep it alive. The shot misses. Here are the Spurs with the ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. Here's Ginobili. A terrific shot on a turnaround. And that's now 11 points for Ginobili. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here is Moncrief. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost him. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Now the pass to Del Negro. He kicks to Hickson. Here is Elliott. Seven points in the game. Ginobili. And foul Minnesota on the shot, foul. so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Manu Ginobili taking two shots. And he makes the first. The magician is checked in for the Spurs. Allen comes in for Elliott. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Minnesota's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Freewell. That one's not going to go. Nice D from Ginobili. To the middle. Here's Hickson. And Hickson throws it down. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. 
They're patiently looking for good shots. Good on the shot. Sprewell. Sprewell's got his third basket of the night. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Here's Ginobili, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Yeah, it's not a surprise then to see them out in front the way they've been efficient offensively in this half and actually throughout the entire game. Here's Moncrief after the made shot from Mono Ginobili. Clock at six. Here's Sprewell. He's covered by Ginobili. The officials call a traveling violation. San Antonio. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Now here's Allen. Pass to Moreland. Now here's Hickson. There's a minute 47 left to play in the third. Allen's shot is off. Minnesota's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Here's Money, defended by Allen. It's blocked. And here's the fast break. Ginobili misses. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. Passes it to Moreland. Here's Del Negro. Pass to Allen for three. And it's Moncrief with the rebound. Minnesota's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. The pass to Fleming. Back to Moncrief. Passes it to Fleming. Shoots over Hickson. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. That's 12 points for money. Here are the Spurs with the ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Minnesota foul. Mark Persons checked in for the Spurs. That's his first personal foul. 14 foul. Timberwolves substitution. Twenty-six seconds left here in the third quarter. Allen dishes to Geno. Kicks to Hickson. There's the dish to Allen. Pass to Moreland. Tries again. Can't get it to fall. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Spurs out in front as they end the third quarter with a tremendous 17-6 run. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. On the floor for San Antonio. We've got the dude. Person is out there with the magician. Then it's Johnson. And it's Ginobili in at the shooting guard.
Webb the pass to Moncrief. Just five on the clock. Here's Stewart. Good work defensively by Ginobili. San Antonio's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Pass to Person. Here's Moreland. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Moreland's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Spurs. Here's Sprewell. He's covered by Person. And he drives in. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Platinum-level highlight reel material. That is showtime stuff there. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Now here's Janope. Lucas with the rebound. Here's Sprewell. Clark, you know, road teams accustomed to hostile crowds, but it can go too far. Players have been very vocal, saying respect the game and then respect us as human beings as well. And, Kevin, I couldn't say it any better. It's that simple. It's not complicated. The right to say anything you want doesn't come with the purchase of a ticket. I think human dignity, common courtesy and respect supersedes whatever feelings you might have about a particular team or player and overrides whatever price you paid for your ticket. Now here's Ginobili. Off target from outside. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. And the pass to Stewart. Here's Sprewell. He's covered by Person. Here's Webb. It's rebounded by Moreland. Spurs have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Johnson outside. Pass to Moreland. Back to Johnson. Stewart against Ginobili. Over Stewart. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Minnesota ball. Some changes here for the Spurs. Robinson's checked in for the dude. Valentine comes in for the magician. And Tony Parker is subbed in for person. The Timberwolves have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Johnson against Stewart. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now here's Parker. He feeds it to Robinson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got assist number seven for him tonight. And Parker terrific in the pick and roll. Just creative in terms of getting his team good looks. Here's Vaughn. Clark, we know injury prevention is a huge aspect for teams, and it seems like training staffs hold a lot more weight than they did in the past. I think you're exactly right, Kevin. No doubt about it, and for good reason. I mean, the medical staffs include doctors and trainers and physiotherapists and the like, and they really have enhanced what goes into preparing players for their seasons throughout their careers and um, it's become more precise it's better yet there are still going to be injuries but the treatment and care players get now i think is platinum level across the league gets the shot he wants the defense wasn't quite connected enough they lost contact parker outside Takes the turnaround, Jay. The offensive rebound. A slam dunk by Robinson. And the Admiral, David Robinson, a big time threat to dunk it down. Can't give this seven foot one center any room down low. Now, here's DJ. Pass to Webb. Johnson against Stewart. Right at the free throw line. Misses off the left iron. For San Antonio, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Johnson. The feed to Robinson. 
That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. Robinson's got six points in the quarter. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Here's Parker. That shot missing. Good D by Webb for Minnesota. They've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Serbiak passes to Stewart. Out left of the wing. Here's Serbiak. He's covered by Ginobili. Lays it up off the Walking glass. Serbia. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Parker outside. Down and drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Riley shoots from eight, and he buries that Assist one, trailing the rim on the way down. Wally Zerbiak. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Spurs. The pass to Parker. Robinson with it. Riley covering. And finished off by Robinson. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's had. The Timberwolves have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Passes it to Zerbiak. Another shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question he got Boston on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. At the line for the Timberwolves. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. A different look now for San Antonio. Duncan comes in for Valentine. And Elliott subbed in for Mono Ginobili. Minnesota also with the sub. Cassell's checked in. Second free throw, no good. San Antonio's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Parker drives in. That one finds the mark. It's the 10th time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. And he gets the bucket. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. For San Antonio, they've gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. And the layup is good. Parker's got 14 points now in the second half. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Riley passes it to Cassell. To the inside. Pass to Webb. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Four on the shot clock. Vaughn can't get it to go. For San Antonio, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Pass to Cassell. The pass to Riley. Now, DJ. Hits the front of the rim and out. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Webb against Johnson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Ben Johnson out there just orchestrating the offense. An unselfish point guard with a commanding presence. San Antonio. 
Avery Johnson. Two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one at the line is good. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Knights checked in for Robinson. Valentine comes in for Duncan. Persons checked in for Elliott. And it's Del Negro in for Parker. Madsen, he's checked in for Minnesota. So Johnson hits two of them. Minnesota's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Now, here's DJ. D right on him. Cassell kicks to Webb. Passes to Cassell. Looking to get it going. Here's Riley. And out of bounds is San Antonio gains possession. San Antonio Not sure what he was thinking about with that pass. Just That's sailed it right out of bounds. Birds. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. Here's Parker. Pass to Ginobili. Outside Robinson. Woke loose. Cassell against Ginobili to stop the drought. Robinson with the block. And he's able to get it back. Cassell Save gets the bucket. Yourself. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Pass to Elliott. Wants to get it to Duncan, and does. Trying to get open is Robinson. No good from Duncan. Minnesota's gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Two DJ minutes with it, but three. Two minutes. And the rebound goes to Duncan. Duncan's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Ginobili against Cassell. Parker outside. And the pass to Duncan. A fadeaway. Count the basket. You got to honor Duncan from the mid-range. When he's got space to shoot, he does not hesitate. To the wing right side. And here is DJ. Passes it to Manson. Six on the shot clock. 13 feet away. Riley can't hit. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Spurs. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out... Uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the Same approach. Or they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. It sure is. It's just the two gamers since they're in opposite conferences, and you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two that they had tonight. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for Robinson. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end in particular, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. Here's Manson. David Robinson making his last shot. Manson passes to Vaughn. Pass to Cassell. He kicks it to Webb. And so it's San Antonio. He's easily taken this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. 
and boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.